Hey guys, it's up here and welcome back to NASCAR 8 on the PS2 career mode for part number 41. We are doing more cup racing and we are almost halfway through the season. We're going to be doing race 16, 17, 18, maybe 19. I don't know. We'll have to find out for bonus race time. But what is bonus race time? I don't know. What is bonus race? The segue to the my tier 2 Patreon people as well as my YouTube members who support the channel again. Really appreciate it and it's always... It's always freaking awesome, so just thank you very much for what you guys do and, and contribute, no matter the value of the dollar in whatever economy that we are in in the future, where we were flying in the air with potato salad. So, anyways, jump into We're not going to do the telemetry thing, so let's just get over the uh, Infineon thing, have that be a shit show, and then just move on. That's our single lap. Now, last year we got a pull with this, but that was with the other car in this one. Really? We got second after all that? That's kind of... <laughs> Kurt 112.5, 112. Okay, we lost it by about 10. But all we really have to do is just make sure we survive turn one, and then we should have the uh, race lead. Put me in third. Okay, it's... Okay, it's just... Get... Okay, we actually got the lead after all that. I don't know how. But let's just get up the hill... Kurt, don't hit me. Thank you. They're all wrecking. They save it somehow. And we're just going to keep on going like nothing happened. This is the farthest we made it ever at this track. Because last year we didn't even make it through turn two. That's a yellow for something. Um, well, so what happened, game? What, what are you going to deliver me today with your greatness? Something with Sorensen? I'm... What happened? Did he hit the... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> okay. The Arca breaked it into everyone. Well, that's, uh... I don't even know what to say. Uh... No, we're not pitting, apparently. So, I'll just go up the hill, do all that again. And it put me in second gear. Go to third and fourth, and we're good. There's another yellow. Alright, well... I don't even know what to say. So what happened? All right, up the hill, something weird. All right, well that's, that is a lame caution. If that is just all that happened. I expected a flip, something wild. It's Casey Mears. It's just arc of, okay, debris flew up in the air. Maybe it was for debris, I don't know. We're, we're gonna stay out. This might be a bad idea. Maybe it was. I don't know, we're halfway on fuel. So, uh, now I'm just banking on the game just giving me caution throughout the rest of the race. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a quick race. Terrible camera angle. Can't see anything. Now I can. And it shows nothing. <laughs> Alright, well, up the hill. Uh, more Arca breaks. Yeah. Yeah, took a long time to get to that point, but yeah, it was just, just ass ramming them. Well, that was our race. I, I don't even think we made it a lap, but we got the dub. We did what we needed to do. Uh, pretty straightforward and simple. On to the next event. I think our contract ran out. Yep, it expired. So now we get to join a different team. And we'll just weigh our options of who else we can ruin the career of. Hendrick, we already destroyed them at some point. We already raced with 35. We could race as Denny Hamlin. We'll go with Hamlin. Uh, sh sure. We'll take Hamlin's career away. <laughs> and that contract is for eight races. Wow. Well, that's not long, but it'll be just enough to definitely, permanently take him out of the championship hunt by not making the chase. So we're just destroying people's careers eight races at a time, or depending on how long the contract is. Uh, turn four for a set of 28-0. This one has to be slightly better, and it is. We were 40th on the first lap. This one... 31st, okay. Well, it's okay. Well, we're going to actually adjust the, uh, the the rear end ratio because, yeah, it was top ending way too much. So, really, it's from 350 to 3. There's no, like... All right, we'll go with that. See if that helps. Hopefully, it doesn't destroy the car. But, well, like usual, we're probably just going to just steamroll through the field. At least we're on the inside line, which is good. Go through the gears, get to third... Ran the Montoya for no good reason. Actually kind of hurt the car a bit. 
No, I don't know if that helped. That might have actually made it worse. So, uh, that, that's a bit concerning. If I destroy my engine because of that, then, uh, we'll know why. So we're topping out at, like, 141. It's still the same. What do I need to do to change that? <laughs> I don't understand. But we're still fast. We gained, what, 10 spots? 11? 13? 13 spots a lap? I mean, that's still... It's still pretty good. We gotta pad this video off somehow. I mean, Infineon didn't have anything of merit occur. So this is this is good. We got something to talk about. How about them... How about them legs? Legs are pretty cool right now, right? You can walk, you got toes and ten of them. Sometimes you can get more or less, depending on if you're born or not, right? I don't... I don't know. Legs are pretty cool. Anyways, up in the top 10. This car is disgustingly fast. We might have time for a bonus race at this rate. I mean, this is just diabolically fast. <laughs> We've had a top 10 every single race. We've won, I think, all but maybe two? I think? So that's kind of disturbing. I don't know why any of these people are up here, but whatever. And yeah, we kind of lose a little bit of top end, a little bit of speed at the end of the straightaway. But our corner speed is just so magnificent that it makes up for that little tiny bit of loss. But there we go, in the lead. And I'll see you all on lap 19, I guess, when we pit. Pitting this time, pulling away from everybody like usual. We stayed out an extra lap just in case something weird happens. But there we go, just standard four tire stop and see if everything plays out normally and potentially lose the lead throughout all this because our pit crew sucks. And that's gonna be a 17.3 stop, so that's actually not atrocious. Mark Martin hard beat me out of pit road, so that's a, a little bit of a concern. Trying to get up to speed without wheel spinning or anything weird. We got by them. We're actually going to cycle out second because whoever's out, whoever's in front of me is way up the road. And with the AI got speed comps, so that's also going to mess things up too. So there goes our potential win. Unless we get another yellow for some weird. Now yeah, it's just Tony Reigns. Just... Sure. And we lost three seconds on pit road. Well, that's just unfortunate. Well, we're closing in on the leader, which is good. So they're just not pulling away. Only a second and a half back, just about. Maybe a little bit less, but the point is we're closing in. We got about what, nine, ten laps to go. Should be more than enough time to get there. Lap traffic's not going to play a factor. Yeah. It's it's just, you know, there's instances where this game is like, it's just nice to just let things happen and not be a disaster. It, it has this fine line of being bad and unplayable. And it's almost always in between those two thresholds. But today, it's wanting to be played somewhat normally at New Hampshire. And we're right there with everyone. Waltrip's second. Fun fact, I think Waltrip got second here at this track in 2008 under a rain delay or something like that. It was weird, but random fun fact. Speaking about fun facts, we're about to be in the lead here pretty soon. Let's get through turn three, not hit him. We were close, but we didn't hit him. And are we clear? Okay, we're clear. All right, well, that was fun. White flag's out. Well, I don't know what really to say about this race other than we just kind of kicked ass here. Then we got Daytona, which is going to be more uneventful, but it's okay. I got music time, and the power vetting is going to make this go through even faster, so... Yeah, at least this was interesting. Of the three, this would definitely be the most interesting. So, that's good. We'll drift through three and four for good measure, because why not? And that's another dub. I've lost count, but it's it's clearly good, and that's our first win in this car. So, hooray. More team telemetry stuff, filler messages. Point standings will be interesting, because we didn't look at them last race, so I'm sure something will happen. Mark Martin second, Gordon third, or Kurt Busch fourth, Gor the other better Gordon fifth. Scott Riggs is up there. Jeff Burton's now up there. I, I don't really know why or how. And because we booted, what, Hamlin out? I don't know what I... I don't know. There's your, there's your top 12 for the funsies. On to Daytona, where that's going to be a pretty straightforward win. Who would have thought another poll at Daytona? By a shit, oh my god, two seconds, oh my god. 
There we go on the start, pull away. Goodbye, field. As usual, pit stop time. I don't even know what to say at this point because we've done this so many times where we just destroy the field, things go well. But here we are again. That's gonna be a 19, almost 20 second pit stop. Good job, pit crew. Good job as always for just being awful. On and off the track. Make of that what we will with my implications on that. And that's gonna be as usual. Back into lead. We gain a crap ton of spots, even though our pit crew was like three or something odd seconds off the estimated times. You would think we would lose the lead, or I don't know. I don't understand how we're this far ahead. I, I don't get it, but we'll just go on to victory lane as as, as expected. That's another dub. We're, what, we're by like 12 seconds and change, so, I don't know, I, <laughs> I got nothing, JG Ailey got second, sure, Robbie Gordon with a good finish, um, okay, that, uh, what do I say, more weird drivers that shouldn't be in the top 10, that was agony, and we just lifted Jeff Burton up in the air, we should have suplexed him. That's actually Tony Stewart, never mind. I don't know why I thought it was Jeff Byrne, but it's probably because of the orange. Now I'm orange just uh, more charity events, more team orders, telemetry results. I I just I do not care. I just I do not care. On the Chicago land, but I'm gonna throw this stuff in to my editing software and we'll be back because Because why not? And also this race is gonna be freaking long so might as well have that separately recorded there's your insider scoop of how i do things even though i've explained this multiple times before so i don't know if i'm acting like this is like a i don't know i'll be back in probably a couple hours from now it's bonus race time we're back we got some time to spare We've got chicago land that's gonna be a long race let's dive into it well, it's another pole, 27 to 20. Oh my god, that's... Oh, that's only by about 10. I was thinking it was like a second. I don't know why I was thinking that. Hey, look at mirrors in the, the screenshot there. That's cute. Well, we'll see what we can do on the start. I think we'll pull away like usual. Or we'll just, you know, skippity doo our, our our dandy doos to that, whatever that start was. But still somehow kept the lead, so uh, I guess we'll be good for now. Oh my god! Wow, I, um... I didn't expect that. I'm just... Like, what do they want out of me? I'm just trying to take the corner like a civilized human being. That's all I'm trying to do. And for my average driving, I just get obliterated into the corner for no reason. No explanation. And of all people, it had to be Mark Martin. Why? Why would the game do that to him? You can't do that to my boy Mark like that. We're about to get the lead back after all that, so that's kind of good. Our, uh, our butt end is quite destroyed. Uh, there we go. Let's try to get by Kurt again. And back into the lead we go. Hopefully, they can stop hitting me so I can just relax. Because I am not used to being challenged for the lead in this game very often. You know, there's certain tracks where this game just gets really fucking stupid. And this is one of them. Stop getting sideways. Yeah, we'll just keep drifting. Yeah, why not? I mean, it, it lasted good for a while. Now it's just, it's just stupid. This is one of those cases where an iRacing car would perform better and be easier to drive than this. Because this shit, it, this shit be stupid. I really wish there was a thumb cam because I'm going left and right so much. It's uh, it's quite ridiculous. This this should be this it just I'm just drifting the whole corner. I don't know what more it wants out of me. I don't know how much slower to go. But it's just I don't even know what to say. I have the max tire grip, so you'd think that would start to you know maybe they'll do something, but no, no, it's just it's just gonna be stupid. 
Like, how, how much slower do I need to go? Like, I'm, I'm half throttle on the fucking straightaway. And it still isn't good enough. God, please almighty, let me fucking pit. I can't wait till it gets to lap 24, because I'm not staying out any longer to deal with this stupid, dumb shit. I almost just want to quit this race in general. Like, there's a fine line between the car just falling off and getting tougher to drive and getting loose. But and then we got this. You can't tell me that this this is this is good, that this is this is fair or fun. Like th th this is just stupid to think four years ago in Thunder 04, like tire fall off was pretty good. It made sense, not like this. Like, how much slower do I need to go in the corners for it to not do that? I guess under 145, because then it's finally starting to drive not stupid. But if I go anywhere beyond that, I'm surprised I haven't wrecked sooner. And I guess our top 10 streak is going to end with this race, because thank God this yellow came out. I, I've had enough of this stupid shit. I don't even know what to say. It's just awful. It's so terrible. Was it debris? It was debris. It wasn't for me. But, whatever. I, it might be still too early to pit, regardless of all of that. Um, well, the crew chief's telling me to pit, so, oh god, we're gonna have to stay out. I just wanna get this race over with. Thank- Oh. Alright, well. They- yeah, I was the only one to pit, so I don't know what that means, but... Sure. So... If this race goes green the whole way, then, I mean, we might be good, but I don't know. I can barely make it 20 laps and the car is just awful, so who knows. And we'll restart with 26 to go. We got another yellow. How does that happen? <laughs> like, how does that happen so quickly? Maybe we could cheese a, a good finish still. Jeff Gordon has a lot of damage. I don't... Alright, sure. Well, that cuts more laps out of our race, so that's good. We might cycle out on the lead because they're going to... Yeah, okay, just like that. Up to first. And we got 22 laps to go, and that's still probably not enough time to... I don't know. Maybe we'll get more debris and stuff. That'll help pad this... Or get this race over with quicker. Alright, thank goodness. Another yellow. Can cut more laps down. We might be able to win the race just based on that alone. So, thank you, Field. Paul Menard again. I don't really know how they got so much damage. I know I've gotten into a couple people, but definitely not enough to... I don't know. Something clearly happened that I was not aware of. We're staying out. And we're going to restart this with... Uh, 18 to go. So, uh... Eh, so that's good. Still maintain the lead. Our tire wear has finally gotten yellow. So, uh... Don't know when the car is going to get really stupid. I'm trying as carefully as I possibly can to not have my controller vibrate. And try to save the tires as best I can. But even still, I think it's still going to get bad, but... I'm trying. I'm trying to not burn them up too badly. And maybe it's doing something. Maybe it's not. I'm not really sure. But so far, we're holding down the fort. Really, our goal is just to get a top 10 and keep that streak alive. So uh, I don't really care if I win. Because I don't think that's going to happen. Unless we get more yellows. But I think I kind of stopped. But I... You know, this is... I don't know. I, I think we're going to be cutting it pretty close. Because we started with like 18 to go. And our car was already trashed in like 19 laps. So... I don't know. I don't know how this is going to play out. That's our first really goofy slide. I don't know if that took a long time or it didn't. I, I don't know, but... Yeah, we're just holding on still. Bobby the Bonnie seconds. That'll be kind of cool to see him win after I got that car multiple wins. I don't know, but... Tr just it's get, It's getting to that point. And it's kind of concerning because we still got a lot of laps left. So uh, I'm just going to shut up and focus and try to minimize the driftage. Yeah, it's starting, it's starting to get stupid. It's starting to get really, really fucking stupid. I'm just going to try to defend the bomb as best I can. It's just... God, the fact that well, I'm going 150 and it still wants to just wreck. Oh, it's just... I don't even know what to say at this point. Other than just to hang on for dear life. I guess we've hanged on a lot better than I expected. But maybe I've just gotten accustomed to the stupidness of the car. But still, one mistake. We'll lose a bunch of spots because they're just all over me. And it's starting to get stupid on the straightaways. So that's, you know, very, very alarming. 
Two laps to go. I really would love to have a thumb cam. Because, holy crap. I wish I can, like, even articulate how much I'm turning left, right, 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 left, right. Like, literally, as I say that, that is how I'm turning. It is absurd. It is just absolutely absurd how bad this is. Jesus Christ! There was nothing I could have done there. There was truly nothing I could... I mean, Mike Wallace just literally obliterated me. I got nothing. I... What do I do there? How do I even... Like, I, I just... I just got destroyed. And now it's a green-white checkered. He tells me to pit, so I'm kind of concerned if I can even make it on fuel now. But now it's a green-white checkered, and I'm spitting going 80 miles an hour. What is this? Just, just give me a fourth gear. Just give me a fucking fourth gear. This is just... God damn, I hate this. I hate how this car handles. If I really lose a top 10 out of out of this because of this track, we are going to have some uh, monstrous problems here. I'm going to get wrecked. Like, it's going to happen. Maybe it would be better just so this race can end... But I'm going to try to do it honorably and just keep going, but, like, it just gets undrivable. There's just no other word around it. It just gets undrivable. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm drifting in the straightaways. That's just this is how I have to approach it. I have to go, like, 145 just to keep going. We're still within top 10 territory. Sorry, Mark, I can't handle the car. It just it gets undrivable here. Go three, through three and four one more time. Just park it. Park it. Whatever. We're fine. Come on. Just get through the corner. Frames are dying. The game is falling apart. All right. Thank the good baby lord in the sky that might be a spaghetti monster. We ended up getting a top ten. My. That was just. Thank God that's over with. That was awful. Thankfully, that is the last time I'm going to have to race that track on this game until NASCAR 9, which is probably still going to be awful, and I'm going to hate it. If we're going to have to deal with that shit again, I might as well just sim it. I mean, it's just... What, what do I have to gain by even doing that race? I could just sim it. We have a big enough point lead. Like, what? It's just... It goes beyond being dumb. It just goes so far beyond of just bad. We led 34 of the 48 laps. A lot of that was just because... Whatever, that was... We got a top 10, that's, that's all I wanted. Just just end this part now. That was... Man. At least my teammate won. So that's kind of cool. So, oh my... A thousand and fifteen point lead. Wow. I did not know we had that big of a point lead. Scott Riggs is barely in on points by 33 over Vickers. And then it's another 8, so at 41 over Jeff Green. Then 46 over Jared. 48 over Marlin. 50 over Schrader. 63 over him. Uh, 79 over him. And then there's a, there's a, at least a noticeable gap between 19 and 20. But yeah, 19th to... Uh, <laughs> 19th to 11th are all under one race from apart from each other, I think. So that that is uh that's quite insane. But for now, we'll wrap up today's episode. That just was utterly miserable in almost all the spectrums of the universe. Big shout out to my two three Patreon supporters, the Down Rolls, Comic Cosy Games, Dave Hart, Champ 15, NASCARMissite.org, Billy Carey, Golf Game 100, Mia Bibster, Mexican League 1986, Mark Harmon, and Fan 5556 for the support as always again. I really appreciate what you guys do for the channel and, and everything. It does me a lot, and it's just absolutely, and especially, and any other word that rhymes with that, wonderful. <laughs> so thank you, as always, for what you guys do. It's, uh, it's very much appreciated. I'll see you all next episode for the Brickyard Pocono, which I know will uh, will win there easily. The Brickyard, I don't know. Watkins Glen? Probably win there easily. Maybe bonus race time with Michigan. Who knows? But we're getting very close to the end of the regular series season. And then we'll begin the, the playoffs or, or the chase. So, yeah. 
either either way, that'll do it for me in this episode. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.